Hey everyone, it's the weekend of the Royal Wedding. The television equivalent of a mandatory PowerPoint presentation at work about compliance. But crack open some sparkling wine and raise a glass to the thought of a half-hour news programme featuring no mention of Brexit, no mention of Russia or meaningful content. You know, for those small shops up and down the land selling small flags and London bus keychains, it's truly a day of celebration, or at least profit. Or if you've got zero interest in the whole royal thing, then why not go for a day out at Legoland in Windsor, which I suspect is pretty low attendance this weekend and very short queues for the rides. Um, the press coverage, though, it really builds up all week, the wedding that is culminating in the wedding itself. Although I personally think it's a missed opportunity not to send an undercover reporter along to the stag do or the hen night, you know, presumably pretending to be an Arab prince like they do to snare corrupt politicians. It would be nice to see, for instance, whether Princess Anne can outdrink Kate Middleton or whether Harry uses euros when he goes to the gentleman's club, you know, as compared to £20 notes, which are all, of course, small pictures of his grandmother. The wedding itself, though, well, Prince Charles stepped in to walk Meghan down the aisle after her father was unable to attend due to health reasons. You know, he was recently exposed trying to make money out of the event by staging some paparazzi shots and has been subsequently had to apologise and will have to spend the rest of his life on medication, although he will mostly be on the lookout for a white Fiat Uno. No. I'm joking, of course. Prince Philip prefers the new hybrid electric Fiat 500 these days. There's some great finance deals out there if you're looking, and the Queen is, as we know, very thrifty. Um, so what now? Presumably, lots of drinking and normal news service will eventually be restored sometime into next week, when Theresa May once again refuses to rule out any kind of customs arrangement, whilst at the same time possibly ruling it in or ruling it out. Nobody really knows. Uh, but with any luck, Harry and Meghan might just be persuaded to have a child sometime around March 2019, just to take the edge off the Brexit stuff. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.